And all across the nation for the past four years, the little preacher has been going up and down, winning lost humanity with the message of the Master. At this time, let me introduce to you little Marjo. Howdy, neighbors. May the Lord bless you. When I would go to a press conference or an interview, my father would march me in full outfit right up to the news editor and say, I want to see the editor. They would be so shocked at a six-year-old kid coming up with a full handshake. And I would say, you know, how do you do, Mr. Smith? My name is Marjorie Gortner. I'm in town to give the devil two black eyes. The guy is falling out of his seat, and he would say something back like, you're a minister? Yes, that's right. The Lord called me to preach when I was four years old. Do you memorize your sermons? Absolutely not. You know, I get them in my sleep. Sometimes I get them while I'm driving down the road. But they all come from God. The law of the state of California does not define what a minister is and recognizes the child of four years as a minister, then we should bring about a change in the law and insist that a minister be at least 21 years Those of age. Those whom God has joined together, let not man, let us enter. Raymond, salute your bride. As far as I'm concerned, a thing like this savors of a sordid sensationalism that is disgusting. It is a dangerous reflection on the sanctity of Mary. The name Marjo is a combination of Mary and Joseph. When I was born, it was really a miracle because I was born by cesarean. And when they opened up my mother, the cord was wrapped around my neck three times. So I guess I did start off with a legitimate miracle. <laughs> At this time, I would like to present to you the world's youngest ordained minister and the world's youngest evangelist. Marjo Gartner. Marjo started preaching when he was three and a half. Today is Marjo's eight. I remember my mother going through very, uh, well, correctional activities, you might say, to get me prepared to say uh, the wedding ceremony because I had to re recite the whole uh, Episcopal ceremony verbatim and write my name on the certificate. I'm not sure, but I think they had, you know, a preaching number planned for me coming from such a long background of preachers and my mother being a very flamboyant evangelist. As a child, I'd want to go out and play, and we'd have to spend hours and hours, you know, memorizing. And my mind would slip. Finally, my mother would begin to lose her patience with me, and she would put a pillow over my head, maybe, and smother me for a little bit. Other times, she'd hold me under the water faucet, but she never wanted to put any marks on my body because she knew I had to be in front of the press, and so she'd never hit me or anything. gestures like when I would say Jesus my arms would have to go out to when I would say the devil I would go forward and she had this incredible set of signals there like if she would say oh Jesus if I was going too slow 
or if you said glory to God, you know, that meant you better speed up and go a little bit faster. Then later on, they came up with more signals like praise God meant, you know, you've got the people where you need them, you better take an offering and raise some money. <laughs> oh, my friend, listen to me. My yeah, name is Marjo Gortner. I'm only four years old. I'm coming to your town to shoot the devil down. So come and go with me, and surely you will see me preach the old time gospel and have a jubilee. Everyone praise the Lord. <laughs> I guess I was sort of precocious or, uh, and I had an ego, you know, and I enjoyed the people and I enjoyed the attention that I was getting. I remember I really enjoyed, everyone was very nice to me and uh, my reaction to it, like I didn't understand, I didn't really, I can't really think of a time that I ever believed in God or in, you know, and I ever thought that it was a miracle of God that I preached. I don't think even with all the people. Uh, gathering around me, you know, thousands of people saying this has to be a miracle. Surely, you know, God has called you and all that. I don't think with all that, I just, you know, knew that I could do it well. And my parents had trained me, but I never really tripped out and thought that I was some uh, real miracle child of any kind. <laughs> <laughs>